Come on, Kimberly, you have to change something. The happy body that you want is in your control. No one else can do it for you. In order to make a change in ourselves, we have to stop making excuses, otherwise we will never make the change. No one knows how late at night you stay up dreaming about your dream body. Nobody knows how badly you want it apart from you. But no one will be as upset as you will unless you make the change. Imagine where you could be in six months if you stayed consistent and you didn't give up. Choose to not make a change and you will have the same issues. The same unhealthy routine. The same thoughts late at night imagining what you could be. The same sadness. The same trials and tribulations. And until you put yourself first and put your foot down and say, I deserve this. Until you start making smart choices, you'll stay in the same place. Step 1. Watch something that's going to motivate and move you. Start a fitness challenge and take before and after pictures. Find something that's going to move you and motivate you to take that first step to changing your unhealthy habits. For me, if I'm having a bad day or a day where I don't feel strong in this, I watch weight loss transformation videos that inspire me first thing in the morning before my mind can go anywhere else. So many amazing food and weight loss documentaries on Netflix that can stimulate my mind. Step 2 Ugh. This one was very difficult for me. My stomach got to the point where it felt bottomless and I was never not hungry or satisfied. Food specialists say it takes 28 days for your body to make a habit and whatever you feed your body the most it will start to crave. I was coming from a long way, I started making changes little by little. I started reducing my snacks one by one each day. I then started adding one healthier meal each and every day. One meal turned to two, two turned to three and four, five if I felt hungry but at least they were healthier. I started tracking my macros and being interested in food and although I don't track calories anymore it's interesting to know how much you're actually eating in the first place. It makes it so much easier to make those changes. The truth is there are so many varieties of healthy food and you just have to discover which ones work best for you and which one tastes great for you in order for you to feel motivated to eat them. Step 3. Exercise first time you exercise you're going to be out of breath within seconds and this is so normal. The key thing is to find a favourite exercise and fall in love with that exercise so much that you can't resist not doing it. You'll start to love it, you'll start to see small changes and you'll start to crave that feeling that you wake up after a week of exercise and you see a small change. Another way you can end up loving your workouts is by finding your favourite song or favourite podcast. The more empowered you feel, your surroundings and everything about your workout is so important for your longevity and motivation. Step number four, you might go wrong. I know I've said this before, but it's so important that your cheat days might have cheat days, your rest days might have rest days, and that's so normal and important. You have to really understand the difference between resting and quitting, the difference between two unhealthy days in a row and giving up for good. When you realise that, you know you can do all of that and still get to your goal. Hello Daily Stream family, so I hope this has provided you with a bit of motivation. What I want to kind of give you guys tips wise for this next bit is kind of focusing on habits. Now habits really change everything and I want to put you into the mentality of exactly why that is. For example, having your daily habits, having your daily goals, apparently we are 43% more likely to achieve something if we write it down and set it down as a habit that we want to achieve. Having time frames such as two weeks or four weeks, I want to drink a gallon of water a day for the next two weeks weeks, I want to complete this exercise for the next two weeks. It helps you focus and put into the mindset that you can really achieve it, that you are going to. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen, but on TikTok there is currently that trend of how to be that girl. It's basically, you see a girl, she wakes up in the morning, she has her water, she goes to a yoga class, or she goes running, and then she eats healthy, comes back and has avocado toast and coffee, and really just has a really productive, healthy day because it's focusing on weight loss and health. As crazy as that is, you have to sh start showing up as that girl and not that girl isn't the actual girl in the video but whoever you want to be at your best you have to envision her and show up as her every single day you know when you have an exam you're like I want this grade so bad I'm going to do everything I can to get there that was me and I had to really help that and use that and apply that to my weight loss journey is you know I work really hard at school but when it comes to my weight loss I just really need to apply that and use that and heavily have that in my journey as well 
when you have to start showing up as her. When you have it in your mindset, you then have more control of your hands, of how much you eat, of what you do, of where your mind goes. When you're bored, do you go to food? Showing up as that girl every single day is making your mind go to a different place other than the place that it's been going this whole time is, I'm lonely and tired at the end of the day, I'm gonna eat food. I'm bored at the weekend, I'm gonna eat food. This is going bad, I'm gonna eat food. That trend is something that you want to break and really shift away from and you do that by showing up as the girl and the person you want to be every single day. Daily habits really really help with this. I mean setting yourself periodic goals whether it's two week goals or four week goals of I'm gonna drink this much amount of water every single day. Get apps to help you. There's so many water apps that track your water intake and will send you notification reminders. There's so many fasting apps. If you're a faster again it's not for everyone so I wouldn't recommend doing it if it's something that is not for you but fasting apps that will ask you send a notification and say how are you feeling today and that reminder and that motivation that push is really good because sometimes our friends and family don't want to hear about our weight loss journey every single day but what you can do is do everything you can to feel like you've got all that you can and all the motivation that you can to get to exactly where you want to be do your daily habits of okay every day this week I'm gonna buy avocado toast I'm gonna ask my mum to buy avocados ask my dad to buy avocados I'm gonna get some on my own I'm gonna eat it every single day this week for breakfast and that is my weekly challenge you know we do so much for the cosmetic side of things but when it comes to our own personal journeys we don't put in enough oomph and emphasis I mean we could spend sat there online looking for a dress for an hour online that we really want to buy that we saw in someone else and we could be searching through 50 different websites but that same two hours or hour that you spent looking for that or same two hours that you spent scrolling on TikTok we don't invest as much time into our own journey so change up your daily habits and take them just as seriously as we take everything else the more serious you take it the more successful it's going to be again we are only the we are the only denominator the only thing that stops us from getting to here so changing that pattern and changing that is going to really be so beneficial to your end goal and your end journey i'm going to go into more detail about this in another video but changing where our mind goes when we're stressed and unhappy are the Eat, overeating tends to be the cycle of how we get to where we are before our weight loss journey and in order to break that cycle we have to think okay how can I deal with changing my mentality and what I do when I'm not happy or what I do when I'm stressed so again finding ways to change that mentality write it down how are you going to break the cycle I'm going to go into all of that in another video but how are you going to break that cycle how are you going to regain control because in that moment we feel like we have no control because we're sad in order to regain control we think it's food so how are you going to regain the control and this is so important for your own progression of how you really bring that back and work through that last but not least don't put yourself down to where you currently are it's so normal to have got to a place and been like oh goodness I'm here, it's gonna take forever. Don't think about how long it takes. Don't even think about it, don't even think about it again, don't even think about it in a week, don't even think about it in a month. You have to just keep going and just keep pushing. That is so important for your journey to really process that. Yes, it can feel like it takes absolutely forever, but you just have to keep going. Now guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up, turn your bell notifications on so you get notified every single time that I upload. Come over and follow my inspirational fitness page on Instagram as well as my podcast page as well. Now, I love you guys so much. Give it a massive thumbs up if you have enjoyed it and I'll speak to you guys very very soon. Bye guys!